Welcome back everyone to Lore of the Shadow, where I have arrived at the Heart of Fire for the second stage of our defense against uh, the orcs. We are with you, Pine Lore. We will stand against the orcs to the end, whether into ruin or triumph, though the orcs thirst and slaver for our very blood. And then we will close the door if we must. If it comes to that, your presence will strengthen our resolve regardless. Alright, so let's then go and defend the Heart of Fire. With the revelation of Ziegelberg, Marzad knows that the Heart of Fire has been discovered and seeks to claim the forge for his own. In the way of smiths, the dwarves must stem the flood of darkness and prevent the Heart of Fire from falling to the orcs. With your help, we will be ready for anything! Ah, I fear you have wasted your time coming here, Pine Lore. With the way shut, we shall have no problem with the orcs. Those witless fools have no chance of forcing amp in this door. The Heart of Fire is... Uh, wait, what's that sound? No, it can't be! They found us! Uh, does that mean I didn't waste my time coming here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, since you followed the ebb and flow of the battle of the sea, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And of course, there are these flags here that, uh, yes, I see you're running on, trying to grab the flag. Yes, yes, unfurl them and they'll release great power there. But remember, you can only use them each once, right? You got that? Right. Okay, let's now. We make our stand. I guess that's the Reader's Digest version of his instructions. <laughs> Alright, alright, it looks like they're coming from this direction first. Hello! I mean, barely gave our friend time to get to the forge before you assaulted there. I mean, what are you trying to do? Keep us off our guards or something? Did I take one of these, either of these colors yet? It uh, looks like I already have a yellow one. Well then. As well as we can. You just bounce off against them. Hey, there you go. Oh, okay, I guess that takes care of them. So where's the next one? I guess the same forge. Alright, well then. I might as well use the... Yellow flag now. And replace it. There we go. Oh, draggies! Or oh, I guess wormies might be more appropriate there. Okay. Wormies! Yeah, no problem whatsoever. We just keep the keg master occupied for a moment. Huh. Oh, there you go. And your turn. Okay, now we go to the west. To the west, young hobbit, to the west. Yeah, alright. This is the proper direction. Let's see, we've got. Are you ready? Oh, we got. We got. Whoops. Now, what colors we got? See, but. My friend got one of each of those. So I'm not going to have to worry about picking one of those up. Maybe the next time I'm in this area, I will worry about this. This is the last wave of the first assault. So I'm not going to worry about 
put anything up to defend against that, but maybe during the second assault I could do it. Oops. There you go. First assault done. No encounters? Alright, well, no encounters. So let's find a nice... Look at this. That yellow one is still up. I'm sure that's about to spend its time down. I'm sure it'll disappear before the end of the next assault. Or maybe before the next assault begins. Or actually, you can put the orange one right over there. Oh, back to the west! But from the other side. But that means then that I should try one. Should I try the yellow one or the orange one? Ah, let's try the orange one for variety's sake. I keep forgetting which which one does what. Maybe I should actually read the names of the. Right here. Okay, the orange one is the foe tamer. All right, it reduces their ability to do damage to me. Okay. Uh, we we are going to get another wave, right? Oh. Looks like this is going to be grimly lethal. Alright, so now, two of them? Uh, maybe I better take this quest before it. That way I can get credit for the second ones in there. Alright. Yeah, so now I need to kill a few fire grims. Well, I'm sure. I'll get enough of them eventually while doing this particular skirmish in the future. Nah, oh. Oh, still coming at the west. Okay, that's right. I just try to think, what do you call the divisions? Because the assaults are the six grouped together, and we have individual waves. We have two waves in each of them. But what do you call the pair of waves that are from a single forge because they're they're not assaults because the assault is the whole thing so mm, one would hope that there's a name for that but I can't think for the life of me what it is hey hey you you get off of him Alright, so that is the end of the second triad. Or no, well, it's not a triad because there are three or there are three of them, but it's three pairs. Okay, that's it. We'll just call it the second pair. That's it. That was the end of the second pair. I mean at least that's a word that is certainly appropriate regardless of whatever other word might be more appropriate let's see next and all right we've got you we've got you and we've got you. Oh. Here. Have a little beating here. After this, we, do we have an encounter after this? And at least if we have an encounter at this point, we could just... Oh, yes, of course, I do have to. <laughs> Take care of the Echo of Death. Whether I want to or not. Fires of the Western Forge. And all right, let's go and take care of Chill Heart. I, mean, I think I'm close enough to it. Maybe it won't take me too much time. Especially if I go and do that. Now let's go upstairs.
I didn't exactly have the luxury to do it slowly. Because I'm pretty sure the next assault is starting pretty soon. Hello! Yeah, I got here just in time. There you go. Hey, you're... you're Uh-oh. Ouch! 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 I can't find the... Wait, I couldn't find the skill. Whoa! What happened there? Whew! Oh, fine, 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 fine. Perhaps I put those too close together. Okay. Okay, Bane Flare completely failed me there. This is too And they wonder why I never use it! <laughs> I thought it sounded like it sounded like a perfect time to finally use Bane Flare. Alright, now Now I have a chance to breathe in and breathe out. And why do we got nine cold? Oh! Ice Heart gave me nine cold. Maybe I should have just have left that third one to Stoth Cow. I mean, he could handle one enemy. It's amazing how I faced all those waves of enemies in there, and then the first one I got out here just brutal brutalizes me. What happened here? Let's see, 15, per 15 second days. I didn't do anything at all. They just ran right through it. They all resisted it. See, that one... I mean, there... It looks like maybe about three, three or four seconds they were put out of commission, but it certainly wasn't... 15 seconds or anything like that. Alright, Northern Forge. At least this time he has a ring so I don't have to rush back. And that's what I usually do is save that one also for it. And that, that's the reason why, because that really came close to not ending well. Ah! Alright, I'll just... I think we got the leisure time to That really makes me feel silly for using murder crows on Ice Heart that time. Oh well. Let's see you guys. Minus one seventy one frost mitigation. That shouldn't mean too much of a problem. Yeah, all that does is affect frost mitigation. Oh, I suppose I should talk to Stothkel to activate the boss fight. Are you ready? With your help, we will be ready for anything. How about ready for this bitter cold that I've got on me right now? I'm gonna have to find a campfire at some point. Not sure where I'm gonna find one, at least one that's warm enough in order to. There we go. I don't think there are any nice warm fires in the 21st hall. Oh, actually, I should be... Right, that's what I've been saving these things for, right? Okay. Karna! Right. We, we knew that was in there. That was my first troll in Moria? There we go. There is little else for you to do here now, Pine Lore. Do you wish to leave? Yeah, let's get out of here. Now, 
could you explain to me why standing next to this forge here, which is nice, warm, and toasty, doesn't get rid of this gnawing cold debuff? <sighs> but a little campfire, no problem. We have achieved victory. They are enemies. Tremble before us. I must confess that I didn't think that the orcs would be able to counter our plan. It's good that you were with us when things went sour, or this would be a grim day for the dwarves indeed. Instead, victory! The heart of fire remains in our power, and we live still to use it. Baruch Hazad! And that's the Battle of the Way of Smiths. I guess that means it's time for me to head out to the 21st Hall. Probably via someplace warm. Since I'm here, I might as well make a few adjustments to my soldier before heading out to the next skirmish. There is somebody here that can do that, right? Oh, you look like you could be a trainer. No, you're a weapons dealer. Actually, the weapons dealer might not be a bad that idea. Pauline's company discovered me through you. Uh, because it's been a while since we got a new sword. Arsman's Sword of Nalian. Let's see, we've get here. Ooh, not particularly good. Well, we do have will, agility. That's not the sword. Ah, Elite Guardsman's Sword. The Elite Guardsman's Sword has plus 44 will, plus 44 will. Wait, yeah, this looks like a Lore Master Sword. So let's grab one of these. And plop it in here. It's been a while since I've had a sword upgrade. Now, that is done. Where is the cosmetic vendor? Ah! Hi there. The merchant halls of Khazad Doom lie in darkness now. I'm sure it does. Alright, let's see. We want soldier races. Let's get ourselves a Hobbit to work with. Okay, good. It is hoped that Barleen's company discovered me through you. All right, let's see. What I want is some um, red hair. I mean, with a name like Poppy, that's exactly what I want there. And mm, mm, all right, let's go with the Hobbit surcoat, and I think that'll give us a. Yeah, let's go with the Hobbit surcoat for now. Let's see how that looks. Now that we've finished our battle preparations, we can speak to Wheelie and be ready to defend everything. We will make our stand here. Long may we fight against our enemies. It comes down to this, Pine Lore. If we lose the 21st Hall, we lose Moria. The orcs will strike soon, and the stroke will be hard and fast. We can't fall here. We cannot fail here. Or we shall not find our footing again. If we must, we will retreat from the forward barricades. Better to lose some ground than to lose good dwarves. So, we need to defend. The 21st Hall, which is what we're going to do in the next episode of Lore of the Shadow.